What happens if you're thrown into space, alive? No rescue. No air. Just the silent, airless void. Within minutes, your oxygen runs out, you lose consciousness, and die. But death is only the beginning. In space, there's no bacteria, so your body won't decay the way it would on Earth. If your spacesuit stays sealed, moisture slowly evaporates, and your body dries out. Over time, you become a shriveled, leathery mummy, preserved in silence. But if your suit is torn or damaged, the vacuum takes over. Exposed fluids boil, your body rapidly expands, and then freezes solid, like a grotesque ice sculpture. Then comes radiation. X-rays and gamma rays blast your remains, breaking down molecules over decades or centuries. If your body drifts closer to the sun, ultraviolet rays scorch your skin and melt the fabric. If you float out past Pluto, you freeze stiff, locked in eternal cold. Time and space doesn't pass, it suspends. You become a ghost, perfectly preserved by the void. But there's one more enemy, micrometeoroids. Tiny bits of rock and dust, flying faster than bullets. Over hundreds of years, they chip away at your remains, strike after strike, until there's nothing left. You won't rot. You won't smell. You'll just erode, piece by piece. Even your bones won't survive. Space shows no mercy, not even to the dead. It's not a coffin. It's not a tomb. It's a grinder, cold and patient. The universe forgets you slowly, grain by grain. In the end, space isn't just a void. It's the perfect graveyard. If this video made you curious or uneasy, leave a smiling face in the comments. If not, hit us with a no, and tell us why. We're always listening.